Inflammatory breast cancer represent about uh, two to four percent of the breast cancer. It's uh, really a concerning disease because if you look uh, three decades, there hasn't been a dramatic improvement of overall survival. And in the United States, it represents about 10% of the breast cancer mortalities. So the, there has been a lot of effort from different investigators at an international level, and people are uh, like targeting like JAK2, and that was done by Dana Farber. And we have been focusing on EGFR, and not EGFR to target just the breast, the inflammatory breast cancer itself, but the surrounding tumor microenvironment. So we think one of the reasons that targeting EGFR may be a reasonable choice of uh, treatment in inflammatory breast cancer under the clinical setting is because of the tumor microenvironment modulation from the targeting the EGFR. And when we did the phase two study with uh, panitumumab, which is a humanized anti-EGFR antibody combined with chemotherapy, we noticed that uh, pathological complete response was close to 42%, and uh, historically it's been less than um, 15 to 12% ranges. And uh, obviously it hasn't been proven in the randomized setting, so I'm not advocating any way to use anti-EGFR antibody, but these are the kind of a new potential trend uh, to be tested in this uh, category of disease.